Hi everyone, and welcome back to All Things Frugal and Fabulous. Thank you for joining me here. In this video, I just kind of wanted to quickly do an update sort of video because there's lots been going on here and lots is going to change in the next year for me. Uh, first, today was kind of a crazy day for me. It took me three times to make the one box challenge video before I could even finish and complete the whole thing because first my slow cooker blew up <laughs> literally I was making bone broth ham bone broth like I've done millions of times and all of a sudden the top popped off and half my kitchen is covered in ham bone soup broth <laughs> and it went underneath my big freezer and all over everything so I spent a better part of the day cleaning all of that up and then I've been making like some apple scrap jelly and some other fruit stuff and just a whole bunch of stuff today chili and whatnot and some stuff for next week when we go back to school and work. Anyway, all of a sudden we, all these wasps started coming in one by one. Every time we would get rid of one, another one would be there. And so couldn't figure out where they were coming from. We finally found where they were coming from and, you know, closed it off so they weren't coming in anymore. But it was pretty crazy. It's, uh, this time of year is really bad for wasps and we don't really like them because um, I got stung last year and my arm swole up pretty big my mom's actually allergic to them and anyway so yeah I was dealing with two disasters and yeah it was just not the greatest or the easiest day today and then I got some other news so I will mention this to you. I know I've mentioned before that we moved from our old house in October of 2016 to this new rental home that we are in right now. We actually have 70 acres of land out in the country and there is no house or anything built on there. So. We weren't sure what we wanted to do if we wanted to build, and right now we just don't have that kind of money to build. So, and we are not really interested in staying here for the next however many years it's going to be until we can afford to build. So, the only other option was to buy a mobile home and move it on to our property and live in there until we can afford to build our, I guess, forever home, forever until we're too old, you know, kind of thing. But so, that's happening, and we are going to be in that process in the next few months, but we won't actually be moving out there until next summer. So, it's going to be, anyways, a long process for us because we moved I mentioned this before from you know a larger you know family home that was lived in for over 10 years worth of living things and then we moved in there um you know when we got married and then uh, me and my daughter moved in with my husband from the city and we moved in t with him and now We then we moved into like a house that's half the size of our previous home And now we're moving again into the mobile home that will be even Smaller probably half the size of what we're going to be in living in now because right now we have a basement where we can where we use a lot of storage and you know there's we have a garage and everything. There is a shop on the property that we built already, but um, yeah, so I'm hoping that I can have you guys follow me on this journey of 
such a huge change for me. I have been born and raised in this city my whole life. I've been, I moved to this small, small town, I guess. But it's not like a super small town. It's just, you know, smaller than this city. And it's still got like lots of things. And so, but we're moving in the middle of the country where you know, there's one main road, there's no big shopping, nothing, and literally in the middle of nowhere. If you're interested in seeing any of this, let me know, and I will do maybe some videos. I'd love to show you. I wish I had started this YouTube so I could show you our old house, and then compare that to where we are now, and then from now to then, but... You know, I guess it just didn't work out that way. But anyways, I just wanted to, you know, let you in on kind of what's going on in my life and what's going to be going on for the next while and how it's going to be a quite a dramatic change for me and hoping you guys will, you know, give me some courage or some kind words because I you know I the wilderness was for camping not for living <laughs> for me so I'm hoping I get used to it and um, yeah I guess I'm excited and looking forward to it but I guess that's all for today and I hope you all have a wonderful evening wonderful day whatever time it is where you are um, it's just evening here now and yeah tomorrow I'm gonna show you what I did for my daughter's school but before I let you go when I my very first video I showed you my garden now it's almost fall it's been quite cold here so my garden did better than I thought but not as good as I had hoped so this is what it kind of looks like now I don't know if you could see very well but I actually got some baby watermelons here this one is kind of bigger here and then you know I got quite a bit of tomatoes and lots and lots of beans this year actually and then let's see here I, uh, I don't know if you can see it but I got a couple of squashes out of the deal too so and yeah isn't that just so pretty <laughs> Oh, and I even got some kohlrabis. I didn't think they would grow, but I got about five or six of them. And I'm hoping next year when we are out in the country, I can have, you know, a garden ten times the size and it grows a little bit better than it did here. And that's all for today. Hope you guys have a wonderful day, wonderful evening, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.